Hello, today we're going to be making a small alteration to a low cut v-neck t-shirt. Without further ado, let's get into it. The V on this shirt is of course too long, so what we're going to do first is to actually try the shirt on and see exactly how much we would like the V to come up and we will pin it at the shoulder seams to hold the V up at the appropriate place where we would like it to sit on our body. So I am going to go and try on this shirt and I will come back when I have pinned it at the shoulder so that you can see what it looks like. So I have now put on the shirt and measured up to where I want the neckline to sit. And I'm now going to measure to see how much that is. So I have placed a pin at one and a half inches from the shoulder seam on both sides. So that's how much I need to take it up in order to get this V-neck to come up to the correct spot on my body. I need to take a half inch off of that measurement so that I have enough room for seam allowance. So I'm going to take my little seam gauge here and my chalk and just create a line here so that I'll know where to cut. And I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side. And now I'm just going to unpick the shoulder seam and also unpick the sleeve, but I'm not going to unpick the sleeve all of the way. I'm only going to pick the sleeve halfway down just to have enough room to be able to cut the shoulder seam. But I'm not going to take the entire sleeve out because that's just way too much work. So I have finished unpicking everything and as you can see I did not fully unpick the sleeve and that is on purpose. Now I am just going to cut across the neckline here just so to make it easier for us to make that final cut. And so that we can kind of see what we're working with. And I'm also going to take this roller here and roll out the seams and roll them flat because I know they are kind of curled and I just don't feel like using an iron to do that. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I just wanted to mention that all of the items that I use in this video will be listed down in the description box below. Also, if you have not already, please do subscribe and tap that notification bell to receive updates. Okay, now we're ready to cut. And I'm not gonna try to make it too difficult. I'm just gonna cut straight across that line that I drew earlier. These ends are going to have to join here now, and I'm going to have to stretch across there to sew it all down.
So now I'm going to turn the shirt wrong side out and pin it in place and then we're going to sew it all together. This is totally optional, but what you can do is fold this new seam that you've created towards the back of the shirt and then sew it at one fourth. This will keep the seam out of the way and make it look nice and neat on both the inside and the outside. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it and then I will come back and show you what to do next. Now I'm just going to place a gathering stitch along the sleeve so that we can gather the sleeve and be able to place it in the now different sized hole. In order to make the sleeve fit back into the now smaller armhole that we have created, we need to gather the fabric. In order to do this, you will place your fabric underneath the presser foot and stitch the first line of stitching at one fourth. To start out your stitch, you're not going to back stitch. Instead, you're going to set your stitch length to 3.5, make two or three stitches, and then increase your stitch length to the longest length on your machine. In my case, the longest length that I have on my machine is a five, so I finished out the stitch with that. Once the first line of stitching is done, leave a long tail on the end and then cut. This way you have enough string to be able to pull to create your gather. Make the second line of stitching at 3 8 in the same way as you did the first line of stitching. Then pull two of the strings to create your gathers and that is basically it. Of course, once you've gotten the sleeve to be small enough to fit into that hole, pin it all in place. Once you are satisfied with how the sleeve is gathered, go over to your serger or you can use your regular sewing machine and just finish off the edge. And then from there, we're done. One other thing, if you do have any remaining gathering stitches, just pull those out and then you'll be ready to go. This is how the shirt turned out and it fits so much better than what it did before. As you can see in the before, the V is much lower and plunging than what it is now, so I think it is a mission accomplished. If you have any other video ideas for me or things that you would like for me to cover, then please do mention those in the comment section below. I would be really happy to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe to receive more sewing-related content. Peace.